Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. In the earlier sessions, we have discussed about few topics on the basics of vibration, and also we studied about three important parameters in brief, that is frequency, amplitude, and phase. In this session, we will discuss in detail about the importance of frequency because it is the most important parameter in vibration analysis. in physics we already studied about the frequency as a definition frequency is number of cycles over the period of time you can consider number of cycles per minute or per second but in case of vibration we can define it as a it how many times the machine or structure vibrates per minute or per second the unit in frequency is hertz hertz nothing but it is a one cycle per second we can also have a unit of frequency in cpm that is cycles per minute we can correlate hertz with the cpm By multiplying sixty, that is one hertz into sixty is sixty CPM. In case of vibration, both CPM and RPM, that is revolution per minute, both are interchangeable. You can use both CPM and RPM, that is cycles per minute and revolution per minute. In case of Uh, if you measure the heartbeat, then we can have hundred cy uh, cycles per hundred heartbeats per minute. Similarly, if, if the machine rotates at fifteen hundred RPM, then we can call it as a it is a RPM, fifteen hundred RPM. Let's have a simple harmonic motion. We have the spring mass system here. M is the mass, K is the stiffness of the spring. you attach a pencil to the mass here and this pencil slides over the piece of paper just like a strip chart recorder if you apply a force here at the mass then what happens it oscillates it bounces to and fro so it follows the sine wave for example the spring is at neutral position here and it travels to the uppermost limit of the travel again it travels back to the neutral again it reaches to the lower midst of travel back, comes back to the neutral so it completes one cycle this is a complete one cycle so time taken to complete one cycle we generally call it as a period that is t always t you can relate with the frequency is the reciprocal of frequency means frequency is equal to 1 upon t in this case if the it takes one second to complete one cycle then the period is t is equal to 1 Second, if you reciprocal it t, then the frequency will be y is equal to one hertz. I will explain in detail. For example, here is sinusoidal wave uh, spring mass system. In one second. suppose there is a one cycle then you can call it as a one cycle per second that is 1 hertz suppose in one second there are two cycles here one and two then what happens here what is the frequency here it is a two cycles per 
second similarly if you have three cycles in one second one two three there are three cycles here then you have three cycles per second that is three hertz so you can define the frequency if you consider here again one second cycle there are 10 cycles here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 means one second there are 10 cycles what is the frequency 10 cycles per second is one cycle per second is one hertz then 10 hertz if you want to calculate the time period it is nothing but the time taken to complete one cycle you can consider two valleys are two peaks the time taken between the two valleys are 0 0.1 second means if here 1 divided by 10 means 0 0.1 second time is 1.1 second you can compare the spring mass system with the rotating shaft for example here in this case if you fix a needle if you just attach a needle to the one end of the shaft and the shaft has some unbalanced mass of m then what happens here when it rotates with unbalanced mass it creates the centrifugal force it pulls the shaft against the center that is off center if you mark it here 12 o'clock 3 o'clock 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock again it follows the sign path when this red light when this uh, red mark that is unbalanced force is at 3 o'clock then the needle it gives the positive reading again because it moves towards the dial indicator when this red mark it is at the nine o'clock position then what happens here again this needle it moves in the opposite direction it gives the negative reading again when you have the this dot at 12 o'clock or six o'clock then it reads the zero reading if you consider any uh, motor for example it is rotating at 60 rpm yeah 60 rpm means it is 1 hertz 1 hertz means 1 cycles per second then you have for 1 second you have 1 cycle Similarly, if you consider that the motor rotates at 1500 rpm, then 1500 rpm divided by 60, you get 25 hertz is 25 cycles per second. Means for each second, there are 25 cycles just we'll draw rough 25 cycles here one two like that three like that it ends with the 25 cycles okay but then what is the time period the reciprocal of the frequency is time period means f is equal to one upon t the one upon 25 is equal to you will get 0 0.04 means time taken to complete one cycle this shaft it rotates it one revolution in 0 0.04 second means you can define here 
the time taken from this peak to this peak is 0 0.04 or so this is similar 0 0.04 in this way you are defining the frequency and time period that is t so it is very much important parameter for the vibration analysis you should understand the basic concepts of this frequency and the time period i hope you understood clearly about the frequency in the next classes we will discuss about the amplitude and the phase thank you